Hello everybody, my name is Aceface and welcome back to our little factional warfare campaign. We're using our character to fight for the Kaldari state. We've previously fought against a rogue Dramiel who's trying to prevent our operations of capturing the system of Oto. We previously were able to capture a small capture port. We're going to try to capture another one, oh, one of them. Okay, let's go out here and see what we can find. Hmm. See if we can find any small capture points because we've only, we've only got one friend in the system. So it should be a little bit easier than usual. Lente novice, medium. Eh, oh no, there's no. There aren't any small outposts because that's what we can go to in our hawk. Lente open, medium. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the adjacent system. Let's see what we've got. If we look in exploration, combat anomalies. Let's go into the system of Nagamanen. We're in a hawk using a medium shield extender. Plus an ancillary shield booster. We've got a bit of like a hybrid style. We've got both a buffer and some extra active defenses. For a limited amount of time. Plus an assault damage control too. I was just thinking, oh, this would be so great. Because the system is like, so quiet. But unfortunately there's no small outposts. Let's jump in the system of Nagamana. Yeah, we can still see here. That guy is perhaps doing the... Uh, the... Uh, Oh, that was okay. We'll go to the small one here. I wonder where that friendly is because we've got a friendly system. Let's see, do we see anyone? There's no one here. Okay, good. So go to the small outpost and get to work. Oh, there's another friendly here too. So that's good. Okay, so it should be hopefully, it will not be alone. Let the militia chat and type Nagaman in. We'll type where we are so if people can, can come and help us. Mm, someone seems to have destroyed a little bit. Okay, we'll go for this Galente Destroy. Which anomaly are we at? I think it's this one, TPO. And we can maybe use the MWD to get a bit closer. Great. Not need to attack this. There's no reason to attack that. Reload. And we'll orbit a bit. Actually, no, we all want to orbit the warp in. Be at the warp in. Oh, there's a another guy here. See what kind of security status he is. 1.9, maybe not the best sign because it means he's up to no good. Possibly. I'd have loved to be able to take this. Hawk to Novice Complex, it would be really unfair fighting the Tech 1 frigates. But I think that um, it would be so nice to be able to capture the site in 10 minutes, because that 15 in my opinion feels a little bit long for taking a site. But I mean, it's still it's not too long, it's not like a medium where it takes 20 minutes or the large, I think it takes like half an hour, 25 minutes. So it still can be a lot longer than this. I'll check the loyalty points, because we actually got some loyalty points from capturing the system. State Protector, oh okay. We actually got quite a bit. Uh, can we see like the journal or like the log how much we've previously got um keep an eye on the d-scan is there because they used to have a like a journal function i don't know if they removed it because it was a pretty it looked like a pretty outdated ui there journal okay lp research no nothing here. not incursion lp no and it's not that's not what you want but i think we get thirty thousand. From these plexes? We'll see. Okay, Federation Navy Comet. Okay, we've got Federation Navy Comet. Let's see what we have here. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. We'll take out this uh this catalyst real quick. And then we'll go for the Federation Navy Comet. It's time to fight, guys. It's time to fight. Is it gonna be back up? No, okay, he decided not to go for us. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't. You could maybe get destroyed by a hawk. Maybe it would be seen. As, I, would, I was seen as a too big of a threat, perhaps. But I know that Federation Navy combats can be very fast, so maybe you would be able to outmaneuver me. Possibly. Well, we have the different levels here. So 15 minutes. Is there anything about the LP rewards? Hmm. So tier two, no effect. There's different tiers because I think we're in tier two in Kaldari. 
medium small, 17 point th or tier 3. I think we were tier 3, let's check. It must be tier 3. Let's see what we were, tier 3, yeah tier 3, oh so we got 30,000 loyalty points. That's a lot oh, actually, because I think a loyalty point is worth like 900 isk. So that's like 25 million, 26 million maybe. Depends how good we are converting them. Maybe we could be very good and convert them even easier. Otherwise, I think that we can earn quite a bit from this. And our ship is not too expensive either. So we can earn back the ship pretty quickly by taking these small plexes. Let's see. Now, this guy seems to have a GF. So we'll check what kind of uh, kills has been happening here. Red Scorpion. Let's see now. Red Scorpion. 777. See now he just got a kill. Yeah, on this Thrasher he is using uh, the Federation Navy Comet. Okay, that's the guy, the Federation Navy Comet. Hmm. And he destroyed the Thrasher. Yeah. Oh, I thought someone suddenly started attacking as a player. Oh no. One of our teammates are down now. It's just me and this other guy. Federation Navy Comets, they usually armor tanked, I believe, with ancillary armor pair. Oh, he did, probably did a pod kill as well, because he's red now. We'll check. Has he lost any Federation Navy Comets recently? Seeing losses. Losses, losses, losses. No Federation Navy Comet losses. Ooh. There is one. Yeah, an ancillary armor pair, MWD, and blasters. There's a hawk, ooh. He could be possibly in a hawk. This guy. He maybe he switched ship. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a little slug war. I'm gonna go with Mjolnir Ra uh, Rage Rockets, I believe. Because he's going to be uh, have a very big uh, EM resist hole. I'll check this out, see how it goes. Otherwise, you'll wanna go for the kinetic, I believe. Now, actually, no, the, the, the Red Scorpion, the one who attacked him, he was not the one who went red, it was some other guy. Hawk versus Hawk. I don't like having to use the same ship, because then you know if you lose, then you know you're just really bad. It's just that you did everything wrong, basically. If it's a different ship, okay, then he's just outsmarted you somehow, but, you know, if you've got the same ship, then, ah, oh, he just failed completely. Ooh, there's a lot of people in the system now. He, that other system, Oto, was very quiet. This one is rolling with enemies. He perhaps is waiting for backup. An Ibis? Okay. Don't know if the Ibis would be... Yeah, Ibis wouldn't be any problem. But a Hawk... 1v1 Hawk, okay, that would be interesting, but... I don't know if there's more backup. Like, if he's a Hawk and someone else, I think it would not be a... I think it wouldn't be a good time. Oh, there's a coercer here as well. Yeah, we do not want to fight a coercer because a coercer will rip us to pieces. The coercer does EM damage, he's going to rip through our shield like nothing. Not something we want to face against. I don't like having to run away like this, but I don't feel like it'll be a good time using a coercer. Because the coercer will just, uh, the DPS he will have will be a lot more than we do. And he will completely uh, rip our shield to shreds. We can warp in at 100 maybe, see what uh, we can see on the other side of the gate perhaps. Hmm, we almost captured it, we were halfway there getting that small novice plex, but it doesn't seem like that the enemy wanted us to do that. And plus there was a hawk. If there was just a coercer, maybe, but then there was a hawk and a coercer. Doesn't seem like it would be a good time. Mm, okay, so the hawk is over there. Hmm, there's a hawk there. Has a kill right on them. You can activate, okay. There's this Nile Lothbrok. So it seems like the coercer has gone away. I'm not sure where... They are. 
Who was the coercer? Could it be Red Scorpion? Or was it someone else who flew by? It's Ibis, at least he is uh, friendly. Let's go in. Let's go in just to try to capture this point. And then we'll have to just run away if we see that coercer again. But Niall Lothbrok, that's the guy who was in the Hawk, at least. Okay, there's someone here now, a new person in the system. Hmm. I wonder if the timer reset now we warped off. It should have saved. I think it should have saved. It would be really great if we had multiple people here. Because if we had multiple people, then we could hold a more firm footing in these plexes. I can go with the Scourge Rage. Keep an eye on a D scan. These small plexes are 10 to 15 minutes. Now, ideally, if you would want to like farm these, you'd want to do this at a time where activity is really low. I'm not sure what time of the day it is the lowest activity on the EVE server. And it could maybe also depend a bit on region to region. Maybe there's a bigger certain community of certain region in Galente slash Kaldari faction warfare than there is in Amar slash Minmatar faction warfare. Let's go for this beacon. We can even check in the eve offline website now we can see when people are in the lowest uh, population point is see now it's around uh, five in the morning for me that is not going to be a nice time to play <laughs> six minutes left this guy keeps on being here hmm now lothbrock i'll check him out Keeping on the uh, on the overview. Has he lost any orcs as of lately? He's using Imperial Navy slices a lot. Hmm. Okay, Hawk is back. Oh, now he's gone. He was probably at one of the stargates still nearby. Okay. Now then it's a lot more chill. The thing is with the coercer, the reason I'm worried about him is that Aquasa probably will have about a bit less EHP than we do. We have 8k EHP plus a good boosting amount, but Aquasa would maybe have like, 5k EHP, 6k, depending on what kind of fee he has. But he'll probably have like double or at least like, one and a half times more DPS than us. And I think that's just going well, to burn us down. Plus, not just that he has more DPS, but he has the optimal damage type as well. The Hawk is known for having a really big EM hole, like you can see here, and he's going to hit straight into that. They do... If they are very high DPS courses, they use conflagration, they are going to do half of the damage in the thermal. And it will mean that a lot of the damage is mitigated because of thermal being a highest resist, but they're also going to hit into this EM resist that's very flimsy. So that's what I am uh, most worried about. It could be, I mean, could, we could get through him perhaps because he would have slightly low kinetic resist since coerce is an armor ship. Armor ships usually have low kinetic. So, I mean, I think it would be possible that we could take out I think it would be possible that we could take out Coercer, but I think it'll be very, uh, it'll be very close. Okay, the Hawk is back again. I think it'll be very close, and I don't think we'd have a chance if there's a Hawk intervening as well. Okay, seems like the Hawk is gone now. Ah, okay, there's someone else here. Four minutes, 50 seconds. Well, you know, when I'm doing these sites, I feel like they're almost... That I almost know when it's getting close because I feel like more people come in the system then. Minaji Tunu. Uh, that's the same person we saw before. You can reload as well. I hope this goes good. Come on, we're going to capture that point. Get that sweet, sweet 30k LP. We can go in activities and faction warfare. We have T3, yeah? So we'll get a lot of points from getting this. Hmm, okay. System seems to be clearing up a bit. Okay, we've got some more people in the system. Some more friendlies, another green. I don't know about this stupid guy though. He could be probably a pirate because we've got 0 0.3 security status. I think a retribution would do really well against us. It's got a good damage type, and very tough nuts to crack. I think a retribution might be a bit quicker than us too. Uh, it's got a lot better range control, I believe. I'm sent him a message here that 
This is a uh, very like two minutes left, so just come to get some LP. So hopefully people will come here. Galdari Police, yeah, it must be. Uh, I can imagine that is. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if that is a friend, but it could be that he's got Galdari Police to sort of think that you are a friend, <laughs> and then he's not. One minute thirty seconds left. Come on, let's get that plex. Let's get that plex. I want that plex. Okay, less than one minute left. Come on. And then there's the Federation Navy comet coming now. Okay. Is he going to come in the last minute and swoop by to prevent us from getting it? Hmm. That'd be very typical if he stops us from getting this. Only 20 seconds left. 19, 18, 17, 15. Now he's gone now. We'll be able to get our plex, hopefully. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Great. Okay. Quick plex. A quick plex. Let's go to Oto. There's a uh, there's a station there which we can we can which we can restock out. Let's see. What do we get? So we've got sixty thousand now. Oh, that's a lot of uh, LP you get from just that. 15 minutes there if we were to hypothetically do four of these like in a row maybe you could do three here an hour perhaps because four an hour would be perfectly but that it takes a bit of time to destroy the embassy so three of them an hour you would get perhaps I don't know, 80 million an hour doing this that's pretty decent income considering we're using a little hawk but you have to also remember there's a high risk of just getting destroyed as well because of people being able to kill us but we're also able to kill people as well I mean look at this extra loot we've got here IFA compact damage control. Hmm. So a successful plexing, a successful plexing. It's sort of a benefit of being in a slightly powerful ship because then you sort of lure off certain people. But um, then you also get people to come to you who are in very powerful ships as well. Like that very, very smoothly. I thought it would have not gone so well. Oh, we can't dock up there. Docking permission requested. They deny access to this mining drill outpost Docking permission requested. oh okay must be in that certain systems you, you can't dock in because this is captured by galente that's why i'll then have to warp to a planet and find some peace there <laughs> okay so some quick plexing in the hawk very smooth very smooth uh we didn't have any battles this time but we were able to sort of fend off some people. I thought there was going to be something happening with the Coercio who came, but there he decided not to. We thought that maybe it was going to be a bit more of a boring fight. Or maybe there was a hawk there who scared him away. I'm not sure. There's another hawk there. And he seemed to be like a pirate, so I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, that's enough for now. Until next time, where we see what kind of adventures we'll find in Fashion Warfare. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.